the rubber, the rubber up on this thing looks like it was just shredded. I mean, literally shredded. And they nailed it back down with some butt caps instead of removing it. Because I imagine it would be pretty hard to pull all this rubber off of this uh, board. And they glued the crap out of it with that old yellow glue. Boy, when that stuff gets wet, forget about it. Forget about it. It just turns into mush. We're going to get rid of all this crap. We're going to get rid of the two layers of metal that they had on the outside edge. All the way around. We're going to get rid of any of this insulation board that's bad. Get rid of any bad plywood that's underneath. There's about a three inch roof here. It's about, let me see, inch and a half, inch and a half, three. This is like four or five inches thick of roofing. And what's been going on is people have been just going over the top, going over the top, going over the top. And this is what you end up with. Are we going to go over the top of this? Yes. We're not going to do it like they did it. We're going to use in support, in so board. Just like they did after we fix all this garbage that we have around here. Go back over it. We're gonna you go over the edge with our TPO. We're going over the edge. And then we're gonna use termination bar around the outside with stainless steel screws. That's really the only way to do this thing. They used galvanized screws, galvanized drip edge, and that's just a problem on a roof like this. See they had instead of taking up this old metal. They went over the top of it. Don't ask me why. Not, oh, I see why. Because that metal goes behind that basement right there. So somebody came in here and put some kind of party board mission up here over the top of this old metal and then ran another piece over the top. So what a stinking nightmare. Everything here has been done wrong from day one. how bad your roof was getting wet underneath it. What I'm sitting on is getting my knees wet. This thing was leaking so bad. This piece is right there weighs about 10 pounds. It's so wet. Piece on the outside is a piece of metal on top of a piece of metal. That's something you never want to do. Never. Metal over the top of another piece of metal. Galvanized over galvanized. This is what you end up with. Rust. To start with, when somebody put this roof on this place, they had a metal drip edge right here. And this metal drip edge goes underneath this fashion board on the outside here. And then they put another piece of metal right over the top of it that goes over the fascia board. But you never want to put metal over the top of metal. Because this is what you'll end up with, stuff like this. You'll end up with that. That's that's actually metal that's so deteriorated that bad. Boy, it was really leaking around that pipe boot. That's, that's bad. It's good down there though, baby. I don't know what that is. That? What the hell is that? Insulation. That's another insulation board. How wet that glue was. Oh my word. I think somebody knew that this thing was leaking. Yeah, I wouldn't dig it out until you get it torn up. Old gravel roof. TPO, gravel, hot tar on top. Unreal. This roof is only four years old. That's how quick it went bad. They put metal metal on top of metal on top of metal under there so that's the problem all of all the metal was rusting and rotting look at that this thing's four years old they put a piece of metal over the top of a piece of metal They're lucky they put it on the 
this thing now, as I like to say. Golly, look at that. Somebody knew that was happening. They put a whole bunch of glue down here. Somebody knew that was going Absolute mess over here. Wow. It was getting so wet. Oh, I see what happened. Look at that. The plates, the, that was a metal plate. The metal plate is gone. It literally brought away. And all the ISO board is soaking. That is heavy. Oh my word, that weighs about 25 pounds. So saturated with water. Lord have mercy. There's more insulation board down there. Look at these old plates now. Lord. Yeah, we had problems for sure. It was time to get this roof taken care of like yesterday. It's bad. It's bad, bad. shows you is how much water was getting underneath this thing oh my word look at that it's soaking wet and all this metal rusting all of it you can see how much water has been getting underneath this metal it's four years old guys that piece of metal is completely rotted look at that completely rotted in four years galvanized metal is not going to work at the beach so yeah that's why the roof was failing. So originally, this roof was a TPO rubber roof. Looks like they ran tar over it, hot tar. I don't know how they did that over rubber. And then granules or rocks. You can even see the seashells. So he removed all the rock that he could. That must have been a job and put new insulation board down, and then this EPDM rubber. But he used this kind of drip edge. Under this drip edge, which is galvanized, it's rusting everywhere. I'll show you that down here. And so the galvanized metal was completely deteriorating. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, they went right over the top of the old metal. That's why. See that? That's crazy. Yeah, they went over the old metal with another piece of metal. No wonder it's deteriorating. I'm not sure what was going on here. I'm going to find out. are definitely the screws are falling out of it everywhere and coming through that's what the problem is look at all these nails on this outside edge that are coming through so they've been getting wet all of this has been getting wet the insulation board under me i can feel it right here is soaking wet and i'm not sure oh here we go there's one failure yeah, these edges, that's where it's coming in at, right in the edge. And water just works its way in from there. That's all it takes. That's all it takes, guys. A lot of 
of water around that pipe loop. Got a lot of water getting through around the pipe boots. For some reason out here in the middle. So we'll remove the EPDM, remove the insulation, cover it with some new ISO board, and then new TPO roof so that it doesn't have to be painted like this one, white. This spot over here, I'm not sure, but definitely water got through it. Seems like there's a lot of seams, a lot of seams up here. Wow, that's real bad right there. That's a little tilt to it, so it goes to the front. Slight tilt. Right there. That's why they have the gutters on that side. have a lot of failures up here especially when you're looking at something like that right there you do not want to see that do not ever want to see that failure see that's been leaking right there and you can feel it it's soft under it been leaking right there it's soft under that for some reason there's a hole right here you never want to see that had another failure here Oh yeah, that was leaking. Look how wet that is, look at that. That is soaking wet. That was leaking bad, boy. Look at that, that is soaked. That, that whole thing is gonna blow off the roof. Blow right off the roof. Uh, that's not gonna blow off. <laughs> it's going off. It's too windy. Yep. Here we go. Funniest videos. That thing's gonna fly. Yeah. Yeah, that thing's gonna fly. Oh no. Oh no, no more. It's a line. It's gonna blow off. It's gonna blow off.
insulation board goes over the top of that, which they're laying out now. Kicking. And they're getting ready to roll that rubber out of this way. Oh, that mercy. It's bright, but it's cool for the house. Getting the bucket to glue up is what we use Firestone for gluing it down. down until they get screwed. This is how you're going to want to do your flat roof. If you have a roof, that's where you want to be, right here. Five sheet, five sheet, huh? More. Huh? More? More? Yeah. Down through there? Yeah. You're gonna have to take it off? Yeah. You ain't taken it off yet, right? Yeah. One, one more. Okay. It's coming off? Okay. Okay. Got you. Is it bad under there? No, it's good. It's good. I put, uh, put it in the insulation. Yeah. In the top. Yes. Got you. Level it up. Yeah. I got you. Right down through there. Oh, you got to level it. Yeah, it's bad right there. Yeah, I see it. I see it. So this was an addition. So this out here was a complete addition, and they didn't line it up with the top of the insulation. Stuff going up and down. So we're going to have to add some OSB. This complete thing was an addition. Yeah. We're putting under the TPO. This side down, specifically. Hear that? Follow the directions. One side up, one side down. Let's go see how they're doing up here. The porch on this place was built separately, so there was a big, huge transition right here. Big dip down. In order to make this rubber work properly, we ended up adding OSB out to this whole run down through here after we fixed all the <coughs> bad wood that was at this back side. So we fixed all the wood that was deteriorated and falling apart down here. And then we added OSB all the way down through to get rid of the transition. 
can't see it probably on camera, but you can see it um, by the eye right here. And if it had been, we didn't add the plywood, then it would be another half inch down. And what that would do would be cause a little transition like that thing right there. And when the water ran down the roof towards the front of the house, it would hit that transition and kind of just ran to the sides. So we had to get rid of that transition to make it smooth all the way down through. In order to do that, we actually added OSB down this whole transition. Now, we're working on getting this TPO rubber rolled out. Windy, huh? That makes it fun. That, that makes it fun. Windy. Fun, fun. Windy, yes. <sighs> 